Hello, Dougie Doodles here, and today, uh, as part of the little help from Little Tykes campaign, I'm going to show you how to draw a really quick, really cute dinosaur. To draw it, you're going to need coloured pencils, or felt tips will do, and then whatever paper you can get your hands on. Or if you've got an iPad, there's lots of apps these days that you can really quickly get drawing on. So, let's get started. I'm going to draw seven really quick shapes. So, I'll always start with the head of the dinosaur at the top. So I'm going to go to the top of the page, I'm going to draw a really quick circle there. And then the next part is I'm going to draw a rectangle that starts halfway through the circle, right through the middle. And always use a really light pencil for this part where we're just uh, mapping out the uh, initial sketch. So there we go, there's the there's a rectangle and that's going to be the head of the dinosaur. So you can already start to see that. And the next bit I'll do is I'm going to give it a really long neck. So I'll do it the same size as the circle. And I'm going to come down there. And you can make this neck as long as you want. So use your imagination. Make it short or make it long. I like to make it really long because I think it makes it look really cute. And then we'll finish the neck there. And then the body. I always like to go for a really small body. Because I think that really makes it look cute. So we'll just do a... Quite short rectangle there, almost like a square. Come down there. There we go. Then the fourth, fifth shape that I'm going to do will be a little triangle for the tail. So this is just to give me a guide, remember. We're going to go over this in a little bit. So that's where my tail will be. And then for the legs, I'm going to draw two W shapes. So, And I like to keep those feet nice and small as well because i think that makes it look really cool so the the first w will start on the left hand side of the body and the second one at the back will make that finish on the back of the body okay so that is the outline uh, that we're going to use to finish the dinosaur it's so what i like to do is remove the bits that cross over so i'm going to get my rubber tool on my eraser and i'm just going to get rid of those lines there so you don't need the bits where the shapes cross over basically so I can get rid of all those really quickly. Actually, I'm going to leave that one in. And I'm also going to leave that one in. And I'll explain why in a bit. Once we've got the uh, basic shape done, then what I like to do is sort of put in some of the face so I know that I've got that right. So you can either do some little circle eyes like that. But actually, I think what I'm going to do today is I want my dinosaur to look happy and I think when you do two little U shapes, it really makes the dinosaur look like he's happy, especially when you get the smile in there. So we're going to go with two U shaped eyes. Then I'm going to do two little circles at the end of the nose there for the nostril. And you can actually fill a little bit of those in. It's quite nice not to fill them all in. Like that. And then I'm just going to have a little cute smile up there like that. And then a, if I do a smile, I'll do one curve, one big curve. And then just a little curve to finish it off like that. And then I think I'll give him one, two, three teeth there. There we go. Okay, so face looks good. Shape looks good. But now I'm just going to firm that all the, all the outlines up. Now, when you do this, you don't have to stick to the shapes. You can start to put curves in and things like that that make it look even more like a dinosaur. I'll start at the top of the head. Go across there with the nose. And then I'm going to... Just going to come round like that in a curving shape there. Okay, and then do the top of the head. So I'm just trying to do one neat line where I can. And then on the neck, I might sort of make that curved as well. So I might start thin. And then as I meet the body, I'll come back out again there. Same from the top. I'll start thin. And then I'm going to give him a little bit of a rounded chest there. And I'm going to go straight down to that second butt there. Okay, and then... So, then if I go from the bottom of the neck on the right, I'll just put a little curve in there. And then I'll curve up to the tail. And I might just do that a bit rounded, not pointed. And then I'll come back in there. 
follow that down to that leg there. Finish that. And then all I have to do then is just put a little curve there, through there, and finish off that, that last foot. And there we go. So we've got our shape there. We've got our little dinosaur happily trotting along. Uh, the next bit for me is what I might do is I'll just rub out some of those uh, lines that we don't need again. So very quickly get your eraser. Just remove those bits. Try not to rub out any of the dark lines that you've put in. like that <laughs> so if you do remove any of those dark lines you can just pop them back in okay there we go so we've got our neat happy trotting along dinosaur and now I'm gonna put in a little bit more detail so Every dinosaur needs some scales down the back. Now, you can start these at the top there, or you can start halfway down the neck. It really is up to you. So use your imagination. You can make them as big or as small as you want. I like to get bigger on the back, and then as I get towards the back end of the tail, I might pop some small ones in like that. And I'm just going to leave the scales in like that. I like those. Or actually, I might put a couple more in there. There we go. So you don't have to have them all joining up. It's nice to miss one out as well, but you use your imagination and, and do what you can with those scales. The next bit I like to do is the sort of scales on the body. So you can create whatever shapes you want in here. So you could do hexagons if you liked. So do one big one, a medium one, and then a little small one. And just dot those around the body. Sometimes it's nice to have them just going half off the body like that. If you're not confident doing the hexagons, just remove those. And a simpler way is just to use circles. So, but the same principles applies. Start with a big one and then just dot around some smaller ones. Maybe have one coming up there and one off the front there, a couple there. Just make sure they're all sort of different sizes and that's enough. You don't need to do any more than that really. Okay, so. We've got all our little details on there. Um, again, use your imagination for the scales. And now it's time to add a little bit of colour. Um, and I'm going to use a really bright colour. So I think my dinosaur will be orange. But you, again, use your imagination and use whatever colours you want. So you don't have to be too precise with this. Just get the colour on there. I like to try and make sure my lines are all going the sort of same way as much as I can and a good tip is if you sort of close your eyes a little bit it should help you stay within the lines so as you can see I'm just quickly doing this quickly making sure I stay in the lines as much as possible it doesn't really matter if you come outside of them nearly there and whilst you're doing this you can be having to think about what others can I what other color can I use for the scales and the plates that go down the back there we go just finish off the tail there cool and if you want you can just go around a little bit there and then after you've done the majority of the shape just go around and tidy those bits up there we go so we've got a happy orange dinosaur and i was thinking well actually i'll just i'll put a little bit on there but we're going to put some other color into there as well um i was thinking pink would look really cool with orange there so i'm going to go for a really bright pink 
But again, you can use whatever colours you want. So I'm going to do the scales in pink. Again, nice and quick. Try and stay in the lines as much as you can. If you need to do it slower, just do it slower. Take your time. Okay. Then on the scales, I like to just leave a little bit of a, a white tip there. Just so it looks like the shine on the top of the scales. So don't go all the way till the end. Okay, so there we have the dinosaur. Just one little final touch. Just gonna go back to my dark pencil. And then on those little feet that look like they're going on the back, I'm just gonna really lightly add a little bit of shade in there. Just so it looks like they're behind. And while you're there, if you want, you can put some little toenails on the front ones because you won't see them on the back. Okay. So there we have uh, a really cute and really quick dinosaur. Um, if you want to have your own go at the dinosaur, use your imagination, different colours. You can make the neck bigger, you can make the body larger, make the shapes, whatever you like. But use the same principles and then we'd love to see what you guys can come up with as well. So if you want to upload those to Instagram and put hashtag play big at home, it would be great to see what you guys can come up with when you draw your dinosaur. Okay, that's it from me. I'll see you again soon. Thanks. Bye.